All right, we are on the play here. Match two of this league with Traverse Delver. This is going to be a mulligan. If this was a wooded foothills, I'd consider it off the back of essentially two cantrips. We would see another three cards by the time we got to uh, the, t uh, the point where we could actually make our second land drop. As is, that mountain isn't doing anything in that hand. Unfortunately, this one's also a mulligan. And is this one. We might just go to Oblivion. That's a keep. That is something that's not going to stay. Although we're fetching it away anyway, so really it doesn't matter. But you know what? Delver. Maybe we can ride Delver into Spell Snare to victory? Stranger things have happened. I'm going to grab a Breeding Pool because I don't have any red cards in my hand. And we do have a green card. So Breeding Pool, probably ever so slightly superior to Inquisition. That's going to take the Spell Snare. At least that gets us closer to Mandrills. Thought Scour. Mountain. Well, you know what? They know anyways, so... Nothing wrong with showing the opponent ever so slightly early. Grim Flare, that's going to be a problem. Tarfire, Lightning Bolt, Traverse. Yes. Yes, I will. Let's grab ourselves a basic island. Probably won't need the second green source anytime soon. And we could trade with the Grim Flare. But you know what? That's probably a losing battle too. I'm going to hope by some miracle we end up dealing 20 damage to the opponent before they can do anything too scary. Oh, this might even be a Liliana of the Veil, in which case I wouldn't even be surprised if the opponent ticked up. Just get Mandrills out of our hand. Grim Flayer is going to give them some excellent card selection. The opponent is playing a black-green deck with Bitter Blossom, Liliana of the Veil, and Blooming Marsh. Godless Shrine, it's Obzon. Obzon midrange sometimes runs Bitter Blossom. Big Fat Goyf. Can we do anything about that? Land, Sorcery, Planeswalker, Tribal, Enchantment. They're just doing exactly what they want to do. Well, let's get in for three. And we're going to cast Mandrills anyways. We don't need the Steam Vents, so I kind of don't want to play it. Just so the opponent doesn't have that information. And it's pretty unlikely with us in as much of a top deck mode as we are, that having the fourth land actually matters. Don't think we can race, but also I don't think we can not race. Vapor Snag could be good. Really, if the opponent has anything, we're probably just dead, but... That was the, probably the case as soon as we mulled down to four. Collective Brutality, yeah, that'll do it. That will help. Followed by go for the throat. Look at our opponent with the flex slots. And we go down to two. That was a turn. Maybe we should play Obzon. It's a pretty cool deck. I can roll with massive Tarmogoyfs, Grim Flayers, and good removal. Yeah, we're dead. If they have something to look at our hand, I might consider scooping. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a fast one at least. <laughs> Mulliganing down to four sucks. Mulliganing down to four against a mid-range deck with discard sucks more. What are we gonna do against Obzon? Not something I'm prepared for. However, I have an idea about how I like to face mid-range decks. Especially GBX. How many green spells do they actually play? Because Flash Freeze isn't countering anything else. Let's see what most lists play. Okay, the sample size is going to be small. If we can even find... 
Oh, that's a neat deck. I'm getting sidetracked. It's... Oh, it's Nightfall. Is it Nightfall? It looks like Nightfall. No, it's not Nightfall. Ah, Counter Cat without Delver is probably the best way to describe what I just stumbled upon. Hierarch, Wild Nicotl, Goyf, Voice, Knight of the Reliquary, Spell Queller. Oh, is it a company deck? It's not a company deck. It's just kind of a tempo deck. It's like a mid-range creature deck. Bolt, Path, Helix, One of Bant Charm, Elspeth Knight Errant, anyways. Back to what we should be doing. That was cool, though. You guys should check that out later. Is Obzon even remotely played right now? Yeah, there's nothing to go off of. Alright, let's assume Flash Freeze is probably bad. Although, four Goyfs, a couple Grim Flayers, maybe Thrag Tusk? That sounds bad. I want these. Destructive Revelry is probably just here for Bitter Blossom. To be fair though, EE e. hits that as well, so Revelry might not stay. Curator seems fine. I like Nox, I like Dismember, I like Mandrills. Let's take out the Thought Scours. Those probably won't be great. Forked Bolt actually hedges against Lingering Soul, so I kinda like that. Let's cut one Bolt Effect. I don't want to cut too many because Grim Flare. We have too many cards. We have too many cards. Okay. Counter spells. We'll cut some counter spells. One denial. Spell snare is going to be amazing. Do I cut Vapor Snag? Maybe. Simic Charm's probably better. More versatile. Gives hexproof. I like the Snapcaster Mages. I don't really want to cut Mana Leak because Liliana, but I also don't want to cut pretty much anything else. One Mandrills because I'm expecting graveyard hate. Maybe we just cut Revelry. Space is tight. Maybe one Blood Moon, but I really like Blood Moon against Obzon. Um, 16 creatures. Delver's not transforming anytime soon, but it's probably just going to be removal fodder. Let's cut, an, cut a Mana Leak. Probably don't want to have too many counter spells. We'll be on the play again, hopefully with more than four cards. Yes, more than four cards. Blood Moon's going to be bad, but you know what? Visions into Spreading Seas into Mandrills. That's something. That is a sequence. Although I wouldn't be surprised if Spreading Seas was discarded away immediately. Let's grab a Breeding Pool. On the bright side, the enchantment being in our graveyard this time gives us a little more control over how big Tarmogoyfs get. The first Lightning Bolt seems pretty good. Don't really want the island, especially now that we have Blood Moon mana at our fingertips. I like the first bolt because it deals with Grimflayer, possibly deals with a Tarmogoyf in conjunction with Hooting Mandrills and Delve. They're on Obzon Traverse. I should have thought of that when we saw Bitter Blossom. Obzon Traverse is definitely the version of Obzon I would play because obviously I love Traverse. What did they look at? Bolt? They looked at Bolt. Shambling Vent. All right. That works for me. Let's turn off the Manland. We're going to draw Lightning Bolt. We're going to get an Island. We can't play Blood Moon on turn 3. That's something. Oh, we get to draw another card. Love that. Love that. Okay. We can now play Blood Moon on turn 3 if we feel like it. We also have more land drops than we probably want. Tarmogoyf? Tarmogoyf. Oh, uh, we could kill that, right? Pretty sure we can bolt that. And the opponent can't cast a Liliana without a filter land. So I'm pretty sure I want to kill that. Okay. Can we actually pull this off though? This is a 3-4. We're going to bolt it. It's going to be no instance in the graveyard yet. It's going to be a 4-5 with 3 damage. We cast Mandrills. We delve everything. One card in the bin. It'll be a 1-2 with 3 damage. Boom. State-based action's gone. I also want a Visions though. Unfortunately, we're going to end up shuffling away whatever our scry is, but at the same time, I don't want that many. I might live with this lightning bolt. Yeah, I could roll with one bolt. We're gonna play this. We're gonna bolt that. It's gonna get bigger. And we're gonna delve some stuff. Five stuff to be precise.
Tarmogoyfs are also temporarily 2-3s. That's a good thing. Dark Confidant. See, that's why we kept Lightning Bolt on top. All right, we have a clock. Now, even if we play this Misty, we're not going to be able to get this Mandrills on board because we'll have two cards in the bin and three lands. But we can get a Steam Vents tapped, and that's not bad. The opponent's mana sorted itself out. Here's a Grim Flare. Now I wish I had Tarfire as well there. Let's shuffle, especially because I actually kind of want the tar fire now. Okay, we're probably getting a mm, basic island with that misty rainforest in our hands, so I think we want to get a stomping ground here, just in case the third green source comes up. It probably won't, but it might. Mishra's Bobble. Cast it. Take a look at our top card. Do we want to shuffle it away? It's a Huntmaster. There's no way we're shuffling that. In for four. I guess knowing that Huntmaster is on top makes me at least consider the fact... How big are Timer Glyphs right now? Four fives, I kind of want to shrink them a little bit. But I also don't really want to delve away my lightning bolt. I think I am going to delve away my lightning bolt. Yeah, we'll just tap out. That's fine. We're not bluffing that much. If I... Okay, so given that we know we're drawing Huntmaster, it's possible I actually want to take this a little slower... And make sure we can block that Grim Flare, so that if they have a removal spell here, they won't be able to get rid of this untapped Mandrills, get in, and maybe get enough card selection that they can pull out of this. But at the same time, I just want to kill the opponent. They might be running Damnation, so I might want to play around that. Scavenging Goose, that's annoying. At least the only creatures are in their graveyard. They also can't grow it big enough to get through Mandrills yet. Pretty sure we're just going to play into the Damnation. Simic Charm. Oh boy. And we have six lands. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Um, I kind of don't want to attack. Because they can double block and deal with one of our Mandrills. But we have Simic Charm. Oh yeah, I want to attack. Look at that. I was thinking Simic Charm to... What was I going to Simic Charm? Our, uh, did, we, did we win? If they don't have a removal spell, we win. We'll let them take six. That's fine. Fatal Push. They can target Mandrills, but that's not going to kill it. That was odd. All right. Why did Mandrills die? I am concerned. Oh, they made this big enough. That's neat. They put an instant in the bin. That is very neat. Do I want to get the island yet? We'll wait. Green, red, blue, red. Huntmaster! Turning off Shambling Vent was really good. Lifelink would have been annoying. They can take out Huntmaster with a Fatal Push. We're going to give it Hexproof because Huntmaster is a really good card. Although, maybe we let Huntmaster die so that we can bounce Scavenging Goose after it grows. That's an option. Or we just save Huntmaster. Huntmaster is really good. That's a toughie. That is a toughie. I'm going to save Huntmaster. Hexproof, please.
this is fun. I like playing against mid-range. Scavenging Ooze is probably going to become a 5-5. Five -five. Oh, Huntmaster's transforming on their turn. Nice. That is always fun. If we get a Snapcaster... Okay, well, if we get a Snapcaster Mage, they're probably just dead because Snap Simic Charm. But if we go Cantrip into non-land, we could really do stuff. Oh yeah, turning off that Shambling Vent pretty much made this. Scavenging Goose otherwise would be a pretty decent wall. Spreading Seas is great. If this is anything to go by, it's a keeper. Ah, uh, did we just win? They can only block one guy. They have zero cards in hand. This is an island. They block one of these, they take six, they're at six. They can't eat any other creatures. Nice. Back to the sideboard. Do we want to change anything? Maybe keep a mana leak. Scavenging Goose, Grim Flare, Tarmogoyf, any other green cards we saw? I don't think so. Four Goyfs, probably four or five Grim Flare plus Scavenging Goose. Maybe six, but that seems like pushing it. Are there really no obs on Traverse decks here on... MTG Goldfish. I understand that there would be very few, but it would at least give us something to consider. Oh, what is this? There's a Teamer deck that placed recently. Oh, wow. Teamer Twin placed recently in the Modern Challenge. Well, that's cool. That is very cool. Four Snapcaster Mage, four Tarmogoy, four Bounding Crassus. 3 Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. Looks like it's very much in on the combo. Couple Cryptics, a bunch of interaction, and cantrips. And Romans, of course. Tarmo Twin. That's cool. We might play that. How expensive is that to switch into? Bounding Crassus is a cent each. The 3 Kiki Jikis are less than 3 USD. And I have most of those spells. Okay, Remand and Cryptic. That's something, but... We very well may try out Tarmo Twin if that ends up being a thing again. Because that would be a fun time. Not quite Delver. Gotta say, I have tried out Tarmo Twin post Twin being banned. Probably six months ago or so I was testing it out to see if I would enjoy Twin just in case it ever got unbanned. And I definitely like Delver more. Something about turn 1 Delver, turn 2 do stuff, very much interests me. Anyways, back to playing against Obzon. I have just been all over the place this match. Magic's fun. I don't think there's really anything here I want. Maybe Mana Leak, but that gets worse on the draw. Spell Snare is definitely here to stay. I think we're going to run this back. Let's run it back. We're on the draw. Let's see if we can take this one. It would be great if we could. Obs on Traverse is definitely a bad matchup for us. Two lands. We've got Spell Snare. We've got Tarmogoyf. We've got Dismember. I don't think this is the kind of hand I would mulligan. I am definitely sad about this Flooded Strand not being a Scalding Tarn. That's something. Mishra's Bobble. They're going to know what we're going to draw. If it's a green fetch, we could have Blood Moon mana. Discard? Can't stop that. That probably takes Tarmogoyf. And the rest of our hand is going to kind of fall apart. Simic Charm and Denial get much worse. Spell Snare and Dismember are still decent interaction. They took Spell Snare. Okay. So they have Bitter Blossom or something. I kind of just want to hold up Dismember. And there's always the fact that we could go fetch, get a breeding pool tapped, which definitely isn't bad. Traverse for mountain could be something, although ideally we would wait on that traverse. Let's fetch here. Get a breeding pool tapped. I kind of don't want to play out the Tarmogoyf. Just because our opponent might have a Liliana. 
So I kind of just want to go island, traverse, go. Which I think is what we're going to do. Hold up denial. We can counter Liliana if they have it immediately. And then since traverse will get us another land, next turn we'll be able to go goif, hold up, stubborn denial. Which seems like something I'm interested in. Definitely don't like going into turn 3 before having a threat out, but playing around Liliana is definitely something you should do against GBX decks. Pretty easy to forget that when they're... Okay, they're definitely more popular than Delver, but still. That's gonna hurt Tarmogoyf a lot. To be fair, it hurts their Tarmogoyfs. So there's that. What do we got? Dark Confidant. I'm almost considering dismembering it. Oh, that feels awful, but at the same time, do we have much of a choice? They're going to get a lot of card advantage off of that Bob. Pretty sure they're going to follow that up with a threat, but at the same time, what can we really do? Lightning Bolt, alright. Thank you, deck, for making me kind of hate myself. At the same time, though, this lets us hold up Stubborn Denial, which isn't that relevant when they have an inqu uh, Inquisition, a Nihil Spell Bomb. So, still sucks. Still sucks. Yep. That's gonna resolve. That scares me less. Really wish you didn't have to play black, pay black to draw a card off of this. I would run it. Oh, how I would run it. Graveyard Hate that lets you draw cards. It cycles. It's Graveyard Hate that cycles. Mid-range matchups. Good here. Well, they made us discard Lightning Bolt, which is something. That would be why. Don't really want to bounce that. On the bright side, they're probably not going to use Nihil Spellbomb to shrink Goyf and block. So we can swing and force the issue. I imagine they want a spell bomb here to avoid damage, but at the same time, maybe they want to save it to draw a card. Do I want to hold up Simic Charm? Probably. Unfortunately, that means perpetually not playing this Delver, because Simic Charm and Basic Mountain hate each other with a passion. Uh, what can we do here? We hold up Simic Charm. No, Tarmogorf's going to die sooner or later. Especially with that Nihil spell bomb on board. If they didn't have that, playing around, focusing on keeping Tarmogoyf alive becomes much better. Since they do have that, Tarmogoyf sooner or later won't be a clock. And when that happens, we're going to need a clock. They're going to draw a card. Nuke our graveyard. Goyf's going to be a 3-4. That's alright. Mm, yep, 3-4. For a second I thought that said 5-6. What do we got? Push? It's a push. Goyf's a 4-5 now. Oh, from the push. For a second I was wondering how Goyf wasn't a 4-5 before, but became a 4-5 when a redundant creature type, creature card type, card type, which is creature, entered the graveyard. But, didn't matter. What do we got, Delver? Bolt? Wooded Foothills. Okay. Kinda wanna, Delver Scry? That's a reason to play it. Hitting for one is basically useless. So maybe we shouldn't have played the Delver so we could hold up the Simic Charm so we could give the Tarmogoyf Hexproof, but in that scenario, they just grow Scavenging Ooze and we spent our turn doing nothing. Because they know that with Nihil Spellbomb at their disposal, they absolutely set the pace of the game. Very unfortunate. Simic Charm and Stubborn Denial looking like awful magic cards right now. Very, very bad when we don't have a big threat. Go for the throw. We can double denial that. And honestly, we kind of... Why didn't I go for Simic Charm? Why did I want to double denial it? I guess this gets bad Stubborn Denials out of our hand. That's something certainly not good 
Huntmaster, Tarmogoyf, Hooting Mandrills, um, Way to Kill Scavenging Goose, all things that I want to draw right now. Actually, you know what? Lightning Bolt would be pretty fantastic, given that it would transform Delver and take out Scoos. Please? Please? If ever there was a time for variants to work its magic, this is probably it. What do we got, deck? Come on, Delver. Show us the goods. I know it's the opponent who is holding us up on the upkeep here, but I feel like it's Delver just building suspense. That's how it feels. I know that's not how it is, but that's how it feels. Oh, this is the worst time for the opponent to either be in the tank or AFK. That Treetop Village actually is very threatening. We're gonna have to answer that. Blood Moon would be pretty good here. Kinda wanna get a forest. Turns off Scavenging Ooze, and then we can eventually Simic Charm it. Turns off their green cards. Makes Liliana worse. Come on, Blood Moon. Blood Moon, Bolt, Tarmogoyf. I'm not going to shuffle that away. It doesn't deal with the Scavenging Ooze problem, and it doesn't really deal with... The treetop village problem. But you know what? It's Tarmogoyf. Green, red. Hold up Simic Charm by getting a basic forest off of the wooded foothills. But we're not going to crack it yet because we still have Delver Scry. How many creatures? I think it's just the one. The rest of those are not creatures. What do we got? Tarmogoyf? Please no. Bob. Okay, okay. We're going to play a dangerous game. A very dangerous game. This'll be fun. Come on, Delver. Huntmaster. Alright. Don't want to swing with Delver. Definitely want to swing with Tarmogoyf. If they want to double block and grow scoos. They know about Simic Charm, though. I think they know about Simic Charm. And them knowing about Simic Charm makes blocking pretty bad. Right? Yeah, they just wanted to shrink Tarmogoyf. Do we grow Goyf? No, we're gonna slam Huntmaster. Alright. Alright. We're gonna have a bunch of bodies. We're gonna have a Simic Charm, hopefully, in hand by the time our turn comes back around. And hopefully Bob is just going to crush their life total. It's a Blooming Marsh. Well, it doesn't enter untapped. There's that. Consolation. Definitely Consolation. I really wanted to see a 4-mana spell that they couldn't cast. Maybe an Emrakul? Oh, the new Emrakul. The Promised End. They could theoretically justify that because they're a Delirium deck. And it would outright nuke their life total. So I absolutely want them to have it on top while Bob is in play. So, I mean, it's just the perfect card for this scenario. They should totally run it. They have three card types. It would cost, what, 10 mana? They can do that. What's 10 mana? We are not going to block Dark Confidant. Creatures? Creatures? No creatures. No creatures in our graveyard. That means we're taking six. I can live with that. I'll go to four. That's acceptable. Definitely don't want to block Bob. I could see blocking Scavenging Goose, but I don't really want to. I would rather be the aggressor. Because the longer this game goes on, the more likely they are to win. They have four cards in hand. We have one. It's a Simic Charm. That's a tempo card, not a card advantage card. We need to close the game. Grim Flare, sure. That's going to stop Huntmaster from transforming. Bolt. Bolt. I waited long enough, Delver. Show us a bolt at the stomping ground. That's okay. That is perfectly acceptable. What do we do? We're swinging with Tarmogoyf. We're swinging with the wolf. I almost want to swing with Huntmaster. If we swing with the team, 
How does that go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need Simic Charm to actually win. Or, or, Bob Roulette, anyone? Do we play a game of Bob Roulette? I feel like it's going to come down to Bob Roulette. I kind of want to play around Fatal Push, which makes me not want to use Simic Charm, especially because we could theoretically transform Huntmaster. Therefore, we're going to swing with Wolf and Goyf. Oh, uh, but that's going to leave them with a lot of life if they just chump Tarmogoyf, and they're going to get to eat Scavenging Ooze. Then again, Huntmaster is going to shoot them in the face in that scenario. And I do like shooting them in the face. Uh, if we swing with Huntmaster, they're going to block Huntmaster. They're going to take six. Oh, you know what? We could Simic Charm. Ah, uh, but then we're still not playing around Fatal Push. I don't want to Simic Charm because I want to play around Fatal Push. Seems like a smart idea. What's in Exile? It's just Bob. So, if we're playing around Fatal Push, we're not casting Simic Charm. That helps us with Huntmaster, so I don't want to swing with it. We're swinging with Goyf and the Wolf. What if they don't block? We're probably okay, though. Even if they don't block, we have a couple blockers. We can bounce stuff. We still have four life. They would need multiple removal spells, most likely. Yep. Them blocking means there's one less thing that we have to block on the way back. They're going to grow scavenging ooze. No, they're shrinking Tarmogoyf. Are they? What are they targeting? Wooded foothills. Yep. Goyf's going to get small. They take three. That is okay. Not great, but okay. Scavenging ooze, very good at checking Tarmogoyf. Fortunately, Huntmaster's gonna transform, and do I want to kill Bob? We can kill Bob, and this will be their last Bob trigger. That's something that's nice. I kind of want to leave Bob alive, but at the same time, I kind of don't. Uh, but if we kill Bob, Scavenging Ooze gets even bigger. Let's shoot Skoos instead. Dissuade them from attacking, maybe. Oh, but I kind of want them to attack. It's a catch-22 if I ever saw one. Everything that I want, I simultaneously do not want. Although, this would scare the opponent if they thought we had a bolt. We'd be able to take out Skoos in that case if we had the bolt. They have a Verdant Catacombs, which just entered play. These can both go. Two mana, three mana, Liliana. We're going to lose our Delver of Secrets. Or Goyf. We could give up Tarmogoyf since Scavenging Goose is making it kind of bad anyways. Delver might just transform. I'm gonna do it. Bob Roulette, Delver Roulette. Let's see what Variance has in store for us. Any attacks? You wanna scrap? That makes me kind of not want to use Simic Charm. Uh, do I want to use Simic Charm to try to grow Ravager enough? Oh, we do have to block. If we don't block, we're dead. Okay. So we could bounce the Scavenging Ooze. We could... We could block with Ravager, use Simic Charm to grow it. But then if we they kill Delver of Secrets, and they probably have a removal spell for Delver of Secrets, we're in very poor shape. We could chump the Scavenging Ooze and then hope that Trample and Simic Charm get us there. But if the opponent has a second spell to follow up the Liliana, Ravager's going to transform back and it's no longer going to have Trample. Magic's hard. If we bounce Scavenging Ooze, they could kill something with a removal spell. I really wish that Stomping Ground was a live spell right now. Really do. Okay, they attacked. They wittingly attacked. That means they wanted to attack. And I'm 90% sure they know about Simic Charm from an Inquisition long ago. Yes, they do. They know about Simic Charm. Fantastic. So they attacked, knowing we have Simic Charm, and that they could potentially die on the crackback. So they probably have a removal spell or a follow-up fatty trademark to make this attack worth it so how do we play around that if they have a removal spell 
I probably chump with Delver so that Ravager can get in for a bunch. Uh, but if they have a fatty, I'd rather block with Ravager and use the Simic Charm to protect it. So what's more likely, fatty or removal spell? We've seen a couple removal spells. We've seen one, two, three, four creatures so far. They probably have more removal than creatures, so I'm assuming they have removal. If they have removal, I'd rather block with Delver because Ravager theoretically gets to do its Ravager thing. But they know we have Ravager, so they would be wary of Trample. <sighs> I've said magic is hard before, right? That's a thing. People are aware that magic's hard. What if we bounce Scavenging Ooze? They could replay it. Ravager transforms back. I really want this Delver to survive and transform. I'm going to block with Ravager. And I think I want to grow it. Ah, oh, but they know about the Simic Charm. Or, or, just a thought. We don't grow it yet. We offer the trade. If they take it. That's fine. If they try to grow Scoos, we grow Ravager. They took it. Okay. Okay. Delver, Roulette. Let's go. Can I get a transformation? I probably should have considered how few instants and sorceries we have in the deck right now. But Lightning Bolt! It's a Lightning Bolt! Everybody party! Oh, Delver got there. It took it a while. How many turns were we saying Lightning Bolt for? I think at least three. What turn is it right now? This is our ninth turn. It was when they first played Bob. When was that? Flooded Strand. Serum Visions. Mishra's Bobble. That's our second turn. We spread... Oh, that's the previous game. That was Spreading Seas. Huntmaster. Scavenging Goose. Tarmogoyf. Huntmaster. Still the previous game. Uh, Inquisition. I think this is their first turn. What do we got? Turn one them. Okay. Bobble. Swamp. Inquisition. They took our spell snare. What do we got? We went flooded strand. They went treetop village. We traversed. They nihil spell bomb Bob. There it is. Which turn? Their turn three. They were on the play. So our fourth turn. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Six turns. Delver got there. Was Delver around when they played that Bob? Delver was not around. Maybe it was the turn after. I'm pretty sure we were ho we were hoping. No, we tr we dismembered that Bob, didn't we? Is dismember in exile right now? It is. That was the Bob we dismembered, which feels like it was years ago. By this point, they inquisitioned away a lightning bolt, scavenging ooze. Where did Delver come in? There we go, Delver. Our fourth turn. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five turns, Delver made it, slowly but surely, better late than never, <sighs> sooner or later, we got there, this guy, I don't usually draw a card, but I want to see that bolt, where's the bolt, come on, why, why can't I draw a card, I don't draw a card, I don't care what we would end up drawing, it doesn't matter to me, I care about the EV, I try not to be results oriented, so I don't draw a bunch of cards to see how things would have worked out in this particular game if we made a different decision. But to say that we can't draw that lightning bolt that Delver revealed is just an insult of the highest order. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was a lot of fun, I hope to see you guys in the next one.